Well, I think it's probably one of the most tight-knit communities at Grantham. I think the pit closure will definitely affect the village. I feel that a lot, lot of people could leave the band. Everybody knows the band in Greythorpe, and everybody knows the individual players. Uh, they're treated a little like stars. It's probably the best band I've ever heard at this present moment in time, and the lads are really close-knit, and I think this is the reason that the band is so good. The spirit of youth, really, I think, that the young lads that come in the band, they keep it going, really. They want to win, you know. They are a tricky band, uh, no doubt about it. You may have heard of several tales on how they've dispatched certain conductors. We do a lot of prestige concerts, a lot more than what other bands do. At the moment, we're doing about 60, 65 concerts per year. So, here we are, back in Grimethorpe, at the end of another week's long build up for a competition. There's always a feeling of heightened expectation when we arrive in Grimethorpe. We've done so many good things together over the years and so many things that have been different that you always arrive wondering, is this going to be a day where there's something really extra special going to happen? But there was no movement at all. It was started here in the horns. I wanted movement, the bar before K. And it was just sort of so limp. And... No, I want you to go, I want a feeling of growth right from the beginning. What we've got to work with here is, is of such high quality that I don't believe even yet we've discovered what the boundaries are and just how far we can go. The first note that happens between soprano, repiano, flugelhorn and baritone, that wasn't together after J. The first entry after J wasn't together. There we are, 100 yards to the band practice room, 28 musicians waiting to see what it's all about. I hope we get it right. But I don't have any feeling that... Everybody's thinking, I've got to really get the balance right here. It just feels flaccid. It's, there's no tension about your playing at all. I want to hear some tension. Jay! I want to feel that it's, everybody's right on the nose here. Jay! I suppose that on, on a good day with the following wind, they're about the best there is. So that's as good a reason as any for wanting to work with them. The band started in 1917 and originally was brought together so that the men who worked down the mines could do something that was different to viewing coal out of the earth. And it's grown from there. I was offered redundancy and I thought uh, it might be a good time to get away. There have been rumours circulating around ever since the strike that the Tory government were going to have a field day with the pit closures. Um, 
And I thought it, it might be a good time to get out and start a little business and see if I can get it off the ground before anything happens. Like that. I like to think that I would have made something of myself, but I think joining the band, that gave me a, an inspiration to, do, to, to make something of myself. I, I would like to say that any, anyone, any parents out there are worried about their children, uh, what they're getting up to at night, to, to keep them out of trouble, I would get them into a, a brass band, because it certainly kept me out of trouble when I was a youngster. Just before the pit closures were announced, there was 19 players in the band that actually had jobs at Graham Thorpe Colliery. Yeah, OK, just before you go on, yeah, that's coming on great. It sounds well there. So there's, in the last six months or so, there's 19 players that have had the worry of being made redundant. Try and think of, of an arc over the phrase so that you're going to crescendo through the beginning of the phrase and then you're going to diminuendo at the end of the phrase. Added to that, we've obviously had the worry that the band might fold underneath the uh, the pit closure pressure. The, the shape of the phrase looks like that. Yeah. All right, just uh, think about a bit like this. It's not a small thing to us. It's our lives. Uh, we have our families. With them, we have the band, and we put so much time and effort into the band that to take it away would leave our lives almost empty. The mine's closing, invariably, we all know it is. If not now, it could be next month. And it's breaking my heart to decide that I, I've got to go away and, and try and find work elsewhere. I've made a decision to go and live abroad. I'm going to live in the sun. I mean, if I struggle in the sun, it's better than struggling here in this English climate. It's a decision about taking me to work with me that I've thought about for some months. To put the commitment that it's needed over there to work and to succeed, I can't possibly devote the hours that's required to play an instrument of the standard that I'm at now. And if I'm not going to be at the standard at now, I'm not going to take it at all. For it's going to break me out never to play it again. <laughs> 